Welcome back in the fake two. And today we'll be continuing Cubie's story. And of course I had to spoil myself so yeah, we need to get him. We did pause armory, which we knew before. But we also need to get the items in pause armory valued the least value the most value and in order to do so we need to get all those items all items we can get before we get to pulse armory and what and we need to sell them in the same order so we yeah, are the least least valued and the most valued this way it should uh, allow us to get them in the same order as Pulse Armory. Hopefully we'll do it. We, can get it. we will get it. Mm. Nothing that cost us. Well. Mm. Oh, well, mm. not, nothing that can cost us equipment. Oh, mm. he's nice. Something from here as well. Mm. And treasure. And another sword. And as far as this one goes, we'll get rid of all of that. No. <sighs> How can I forget it? This is going on special. Nope. No. Something cheap. So I guess we'll be getting mainly rings. are the cheapest really because we need to get every piece of equipment every we can get tiger side 22 thieves for 8 that's great this one 14 no oh, i don't want to get a tiger side 15 17 8 14 23 no and yeah, two of them are twenty. That's worth twenty. Oh. I guess that card is one of your favorites. It's I don't cheap. see the appeal. So, I don't think I've took both armor in the deck. So, anyway, we're right back. Okay, so apparently we are here already. Let's see. The guards bow to you as you enter. Welcome. You'll be pleased with what we have in store for you today. The storm will present you with a trunk from the people. A few of ten gold will allow you to enter our promotion. Sure. You reach into the trunk and take a piece. How much is that one worth, Brian? The storeman asks his assistant. It values the eight gold, says Brian. Come to you, the storeman explains. You may continue to draw, but if you if your next item is of lower value than the previous one, you leave with nothing, or you can walk away at any time with what you've got. The choice is yours. Win at least free equipment. Oh, at least. Okay, draw again. You reach into the trunk once more. It's value 16. Okay, again. 
it's 15. Bad Ninja. Oh, Bad Ninja can play. 17. Okay. We've won. <laughs> Four times, I guess. You take your bundles equipment. Brand stares bewildered at the small goblin nonchalantly exiting out the door. You bid him a hasty farewell before hurrying after Hubie. You catch up with your companion just outside the palace. He shakes his head. My horn wasn't there. His voice trails off abruptly. The goblin's eyes bulge wider than usual. You follow his gaze to the forests on the horizon. A great black beast stretches languidly among the treetops. It flicks its tail and darts away. Hubie drops a pie he was holding for some reason. A cup must tall! The final sign! We're doomed! We have to go on the goblins. The great worm is fueled by goblin meat. Hubie tucks his head into his lap, pulling into a tight bowl of fear. Oh, Hubie. A reward well earned. Thank you. You wonder where you could find the highest concentration of goblins in these parts. Well, <laughs> I don't know. The servant adventure, but I guess it's not what you mean. Goblin Town? <gasps> Goblin Town! Okay, okay, okay. So we'll go for the magician once again. Magician? Yeah, magician. We'll take you. Yeah. Uh, place of high concentration of Gob Goblin Town. Definitely Goblin Town. Yep, we can. That's all. This should be a quick one, so you're stuck with me. Already we see the Empire abdicating its role and leaving the protection of their people to the lazy. An artifact imbued with power takes a part of ourselves with it when it goes. Even the greatest creators could not afford to lose too many of their tools, lest they lose themselves. Green lanterns cast the streets of Goblin Town in an uneasy light. Yubi grabs your arm and points down at the underground lake. A colossal shape lurks in the murky depths. The worm! It's already here! Excuse me! Yubi squeaks at passing goblins and other peculiar characters scattered throughout the crowd. We have to leave! The Great Worm is here! Cries go unheeded. Um, let's try grabbing it. No, I shall. The goblins are preoccupied with the strange errands that keep the city in motion. Two shouting voices are nearly lost in the crowd. It is no use. Wait, I know! He'll be sweet. The big horn! We can use it to warn everybody! We see the impressive instrument over by the lake. We have to get to it before it's too late! The path down to the Black Lake stretches before you. A tangle of twisting streets and bustling goblins. Hmm. Maybe through the housing district? The market will be full. You take the right street through the jumble of farm shackled towers that comp comprise the housing district. You hurry through the seething bustle of goblins, do dodging laundry being unexplicably thrown onto the street from windows above you. Hello! An elderly goblin clutching a wooden tub full of blood and fruit steps into your bath. I can't finish my laundry without some of human blood. Ah, mm. will help me. Thank you, you've given an old goblin a reason to leave. The elderly goblin bounces as he stabs your calf, trying a good pin of your plan. After bandaging home with a kiss, the elderly goblin waves you on with a package of warm, sweet-smelling breads wrapped in waves. Thanks! <laughs> you escape, escape the bedlam of the house in this room with a sudden pocket of quiet. You are in a couch, court, courtyard of sorts. A dense forest of twisted branches and strangling ivy crowds the path, leaving only two avenues forward. Bells hang from the crumbling archways. Twinkling in some phantom breeze. We're completely out here. Even Hubie has vanished. 
Uh, let's circle in the flower car in the graveyard. Beware, a voice whispers from somewhere in the dark. Tree tops. Only the wisps can survive this place for long. Though I'm not even thinking the path. The right path leads to a small graveyard. The headstones are arranged neatly in two lines. Somebody has made an effort to keep this place clear of weeds. Following a whimper, you find Hubie curled behind a headstone, shivering in fear. You gently lift him to his feet and lead him back to the path. Something about this place makes you reluctant to make any moves. Hubie's hand finds yours and you continue along the eerie path. You yawn. How long have you been here? With a sudden tightening of his grasp, grip, Hubie points in terror at a small shape on the dimly lit path ahead. It's another Hubie. He's lying asleep on the stone. Your Hubie approaches him cautiously and pokes him in the eye. He wakes with a start. The twin Hubie squeak in fear at their double thunder. The vision blurs, the goblin implore you in stereo. You have to choose the real me! This one was asleep, this one was curled in fear. Oh my god. Yeah, let's just grab the Hubie from the way back and run. You hear an older woolly beagle and you look to a companion and instead see a small ghostly figure clutching your hand. A wisp! The spectre grins malevolently in Titan's grip, sending a chill up your arm. Suddenly, a shoe bounces off the wisp's head. It's Hubie, here to save the day! The spectre hisses and fades into the fog. Hubie tugs your sleeve and leads you back to the path. As abruptly as you had left it, you find yourself once again among the bustle of Goblin Town. The haunted courtyard is only to be seen. Hubie drags you onward. You stand at the top of a steep hill, clear of obstructions. At the base, far below, waves the big corn. And hard. In your rush, you inevitably trip and fall, barreling down the hill, finally come to rest in the middle of an iced shepherd stall. You reach the base of the hill. The big horn is but a few feet away. The broad walk is presently picturesque. The goblin folk might be quite proud of it. In the water, the impossibly huge shapes are on convulses, sending a wave crashing down on the shore. Nobody else seems to notice. There is a rumble from deep within the lake. You exchange a look with Hubie. There's no more time. We should unlock the goblin lip frogs off your shoulders and onto the big horn. Hubie presses his mouth to the horn and blows. The sound rumbles around the curves of the instrument before erupting from the horn and reverberating across the lake. A heavy silence falls upon goblin town. The ground shifts underfoot. Following a tremendous crash, you watch as the city's great mountain of gold collapses and disappears down a fissure in the air. A collective gasp sounds out across Goblin Town. HALT! In the stunned silence, the voice rings out clear and true. You turn to see a serious goblin with exceedingly long sleeves pointing Hubie. Did you blow that horn? Explain yourself! Hubie falls into a trembling mess. He points at the shape in the room and says, The Great Worm! Nonsense, says the accusatory goblin. That's merely a visiting dignitary from the lower reaches. You insult him. Not only that, the horn has destroyed our daily gold pile. He must be punished. Goblins down go from the windows and balconies, chittering excitedly at the development before them. The authoritative goblin approaches you somberly. Your companion shakes like a leaf in his presence, head bow. You're hot, goblin son. There is a shocked gasp from the crowd to be watchers, wide-eyed, as the long sleeved goblin removes your companion's cloth cap and swallow and eats it. Once more, a dead trail. Oh, Hubie. Hubie emits a choking sob and, desperately covering his bald little head with his hands, turns and runs off into the crowd. You eventually find him on the side of the road, out of the open town. He hugs mm. his knees despondently. Goblins hurry past a bit. He was not there. Ah, the goblin freezes as you gently embrace him. With another wrenching sob, Hubie flings himself at you, making the strange squeaking and grabbling which constitutes goblin crying. You sit by the roadside, consoling the friend. Traffic continues in and out of Goblin Town, impassionately. Oh, poor little fella. I really need to feel bad for him. Mm -hmm. 
Phoebe saves the building, and the other one will give up the house. Again, we're looking the magician. Oh, look at you being in the sun. What have you achieved from your charge? Merely humiliation and no closer to your goal. Oh, stop it. Just looking for Hubie who can save the day. Leave. We are none of us perfect. We simply strive to be better. Occasionally you catch Hubie staring at a stranger's hat, arms outstretched formally. You to bolster his spirit, you suggest looking around the maze of roads running Golden Town. Perhaps he drops his one then. But besides, the great room isn't real. It doesn't matter if I get my horn back now. I wonder if I can leave his mood somehow. Uh, please stop your hands. Play hide and seek. You offer to play his second favorite game, hide and seek. Well, it's better than stabby hands, I guess. Ooh. You can't find Hubie. He returns happier anyway. Okay. Hubie suddenly stops and strikes. He sniffs the air, nose from cold. Then, without warning, he rushes off into the darkness to investigate. Yes. Oh, okay, we have access. To you pursue him through the twisting underground tunnels until you come face to face with a horde of corrupting monstrosities. A cloud of poisonous gas washes over you, stinging your eyes and coating your throat with something cloying. Yeah. He'll be cuffs blood in his hands. We have to do something! Oh, it's that. It's that. Nope. Oh, they are off. Or no, it's my. I guess it's my weapon. That's bad. Through the spire falls, you see the tendrils of corruption extending beyond this chamber and deep into the caverns. The pathways ahead are heavy with poisons fog. You'll be hires on the road. You follow the trail of corruption through the tunnels until you arrive at the mouth of vast cover. Through the deadly heady mist you can make out the paint and glow in the distance. The lanterns of Gotham Town. Like, oh, that's too much. Despite the glowing eyes, the rapid horse glimmering in the mist. Well, we can do this third time. I think we'll need more than 100 health. Or we are pleased. Oh, that. Nope. Nope. No! It's going wrong! Maybe where are you? Nope! Uh, I'm really trying to dodge. I am. But uh, I think we will die. Maybe do nothing.
Hey, Rats. As the spire falls, the mist clears. The mist clear enough for you to see the good thing light of Goblin down. The denizens remain blissfully unaware of danger lurking in the caverns. <coughs> Hubie shouts quickly, follow his finger to a circle of corrupted spires on the bridge. A great green crystal mass grows between them, frowning with otherworldly energies and pulsing like a heartbeat. I can't I the, su the surface of the crystal ripples, disgorging a fresh swarm of corrupted abomination that thrust their arms in bay for blood. Uh, we're dead. <laughs> no, we can't make it. You Point should focus peace. more on defense than offense, yeah. I think. The opportunity to strike back will always present itself. We definitely need more health. <laughs> so I guess uh, start with the healing spirits. Let's see what can we go with. Not strength for sure. Not, 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 not the devil. I guess the tower again. Where's Hubie? Where's Hubie? Supplies. Um, max life. A chieftain's axe. And healing spirits. And heart of heal. Uh, yep. Actually, no, I think I'd rather have my leather armor than five more health, I guess. Uh, also. Wait, oh, there was one. No, never mind. Maybe might be something good out of it. If I'm lucky enough. Don't have all. Uh... Okay, you know what? Be right back. We'll meet at the Hubie Save the Day. Opportunity. Okay, so here we are again. Uh, big hide and seek with him, and we won't fail. So. Weapon for them. I, unfortunately, we don't have an artifact, but I guess we'll make it work anyway. Hopefully. Mm. So, Hubi. It gives us another go. Yep, continue. All we need to do is survive with more than 40 health. Yeah. So, QB, do your thing, do your thing, do your thing. Let's go, 
Let's shoot it over here. Please. Really? There was no way for me to run away. Okay, so we have 28 health. This should be enough if this is, is going to be the last one. Which I hope it will be. Yay! And we unlock the dark first. There's that. Attack the crystal. Step on the Your bridge. artifact is empty now. I know. And be of I know it has to you here. Okay, QB, you know the drill. Just... Really? Serious about that. There's two of them. That explains a lot. Yubi crawls toward the unguarded crystal mass. He retches, splashing the base with vomit before passing out. With the last of your strength, you raise your weapon overhead and strike the crap the crystal heart. The gem shatters like glass, and with a keening wail, the tendrils of corruption immediately begin to coil and retreat from the bridge. Down they go, down, down, down into the ravine. Your legs give out beneath you. Vision swimming. You pull yourself to the edge of the stone bridge and stare down into the abyss. The corruption retreated so quickly as if it was never even there. You squint. Could the corruption still live? Down there? Then everything goes black. You wake to the sensation of ice cold liquid splashing in your face. When your vision clears, you see he'll be looming over you with an empty bucket of ale. He throws one more bucket over you for good measure. Wiping the drink from your eyes, you stand and discover you are on a base in front of what looks like the greater population of Goblin Town. The townsfolk are waving and chittering at you. Hubie gives you a powerful hug, squeezing the effort out from your lungs. The Goblin King is pleased we saved the town from the corruption! The king sits on a large wooden throne. He is impossibly ancient and shrivels like raisin. A luxuriously woolly robe engulfs his tiny body. The king squints and addresses your companion. His voice is as dry and brittle as an autumn leaf. You be useful of the lower forest. You lean in as politely as possible to catch his words. You have proven. <clears throat> he stops mid sentence. You cannot tell if he's dead or merely asleep. The sigh, a hooded orderly, pros the ancient monarch with a staff. 
The king takes another rock breath and continues as nothing happened. Prove and you're so bold, brave, and determined. You have saved this court from unthinkable calamity. I wish to grant you this horn. It served our generals well during the last frightening battle, and now it is yours. Hands shaking, Hubi accept the golden horn. And you, the tired old king, looks at you with moist eyes. You are mortal, but you have proven yourself to have the heart of a goblin. The king's orderly approaches, a pair of wicker hat boxes under each arm. Carefully lifts a jointly feathered hat from the box and places it on your companion's head. The king nods solemnly as another is gifted to you. Well, for those who know Thanks. where to look. <laughs> Little newbie, grinning ear to ear, raises his brilliant new horn over his head. The citizens cheer. You have proven yourself worthy. Following the ceremony, you spend a few extra days recuperating in Goblin Town. On your last day in town, you share a spice share bed with Hubie in a lopsided tavern. What's your plan for future, Hubie? Hubie finishes his tub of sherbet and begins to eat from yours. I thought I didn't belong anywhere. The sticky syrup covers his mouth as he looks up at you earnestly. But I think I found my family now. Are you us? Uh, why goblin like hats so much? Without a hat, a goblin is no goblin at all. Hubie shouts matter of factly. Okay, so it's goblins wave and throw cake in admiration as you both make the trek out of the city. Hubie adjusts his new hat nervously and returns a wave to his admirers. I wish sometimes mm -hmm. that our own happiness was so easily achieved Yet, we strive for so much more. Well, that's true, unfortunately. But let's see, what do we have now? Having completed Hubie's story. Encrusted maze from the dark forest. Um, and hunt the brave. And Goblin King's hand. Okay, but that was Hubie's story. Next time we will try wait. Who's next? Ketura or no, I think... Yep. It Who's seems next? you would balance Dallas. life and death. But so for now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye!